Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the first edition of Polynardic Pro Wrestling since we upgraded our streaming setup. We have not done one of these since April. Uh, prior to getting the webcam set up and the stream deck and all that stuff, all the stuff that makes this possible. Um, so we're doing our first one of these in a month. Uh, that delay, that taking May off uh, was twofold. It was because, you know, we upgraded our setup and I wanted to get used to it. But it was also because Fire Pro rolled out some DLC that took away a chunk of my roster uh, because I have not paid the like $40 that's out there in DLC to get all the DLC. I lost a lot of my created wrestlers. I lost Big E. I lost Kofi. I lost Bray Wyatt. I lost Bailey. Um, I lost several members of the AEW roster. Um, Britt Baker and uh, Jamie Hayter and uh, uh, Jimmy Havoc, and so, you know, across my entire roster, I lost a number of people, which included some champions. Uh, so between the end of April and now, I had to do some tournaments to, you know, crown new champions. We have new women tags champs. We have new TV champ. We have new, uh, uh, we have a new light heavyweight champ. So there's going to be some continuity shifts uh, from the last show to this one. You know, like Xavier Woods was our reigning light heavyweight champion but because Big E was in his corner when the uh, the DLC changes happened Xavier lost his title um, you know it, it's just nonsense like that uh, we still he's Xavier Woods is the only member of New Day we still have on the roster um, it, it's crazy that we had to do this but it, it's, it is what it is uh, so we're gonna do it with this new format where I'm going to start the match, and then when the match actually gets to start, we'll switch from my face to the the broadcast. And then when the match is over, we're going to switch back to this screen where you'll see, you know, Polynerd Pro Wrestling Summertime Showdown above me and the chat window to my side here and the links beneath us. And we're going to go through each match like that. That way, you know, I can set up the match and let it go uh, without you seeing me do it. You know what I mean? It, th that was one of the things I always hated about the old way of doing it is is that I had the whole menu aspect up on the screen while it was happening. This way we can at least take that out. Um, for those of you that have never, ever, ever, ever seen one of these streams before, because there are like 60 of you that are new to the channel since the last time we did one of these. Um, it's done with Fire Pro Wrestling World, the amazing um, sport uh, wrestling sim uh, game that came out almost two years ago now uh, I don't play it I set up the match and then I put the controller down um, it is a mixture of if you if you know your pro wrestling at all it is a mixture of New Japan and then I have downloaded uh, WWE wrestlers independent wrestlers impact wrestlers AEW wrestlers old school ECW wrestlers it's a massive roster of, of wrestlers that's why it was kind of crappy when I lost a bunch of them to the DLC because I just don't have the resources to, to keep throwing at just this game. Uh, this was my most played game last year. Uh, played game last year. Um, I love doing these shows and I'm going to love doing them in this new format. Up first, we have the hardcore title currently held by Cactus Jack and I have him going up against Lance Archer. Uh, the beast out of AEW. Um, we're going to switch to the game footage in just a second. Here we go. Enjoy the show. I'm going to be on screen this time, though. See, I'm up here in the corner. Just like we are with the regular streams. Um, there's referee me. There's our bloodstained ring. This is a barbed wire landmine deathmatch. Um, those boards on the outside that are uh, wrapped in barbed wire also explode when people land on them and then we have the barbed wire in the corner these matches are uh, like a staple of Japanese deathmatch wrestling uh, you don't see them too often in New Japan but I'm glad they put them here in Fire Pro
tomorrow night we get uh, NXT's latest show. Uh, the uh, the um, In Your House. They're bringing back the In Your House brand for an NXT show. I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, we'll probably, we might do a just chatting stream while that's on. Um, Cactus Jack with the Bulldog. I also play this on uh, 150 speed uh, because 100 speed is just a little too slow. Uh, anything more than 150 is too fast. Um, Chin lock there by Lance. A basic wrestling hold that you don't see a lot out of the big guy. He's come a long, long way over the last couple years. Like, I remember last summer when he faced off with uh, Will Ospreay in Dallas as the uh, on the opening show of the uh, New Japan Cup. That match was killer. His stuff with Cody in AEW has been good. Cactus got the bat. He actually used it right. Normally, they, the AI has a problem using the bats. Cactus is, uh, I think, the second longest reigning hardcore champion we've had. Masato Tanaka was the longest. He just seemed unbeatable. Nice short arm clothesline. Nobody's been exploded yet. It normally happens well before this point in the match. Oh, nice running kick there. Oh. Claw slam, and then the uh, everybody dies claw pin. Almost got him. The EBD claw pin. Almost almost finished uh, Cactus. Oh, Cactus is taking a bite out of his face. Lance is bleeding now. Clothesline, back chop, a knife edge chop to uh, Cactus. Don't win with a neck breaker. Let's roll up. Cactus almost pulls out the win with the surprise roll-up. Reverse DET on the chair. Running kick. Running clothesline. No, bicycle kick. You put him down. Lance up. Get that reverse DET again. Into the barbed wire. Into the other barbed wire. Cactus just ripping Lance up. Going back to the bite. Stomping on the kidneys. Ah, there's our first explosion. We finally got our first explosion. Cactus is bleeding. Both men are bloody. Cactus gets exploded again. Ah, oh, he won with a neck breaker. Cactus. What is, what is up with that? All right, that's our opening match.
Not the strongest opening match we've ever done. Got a 93% from the judges. Cactus Jack continues his reign. I expected a better fight out of Lance. I'm disappointed. All right, let me pull up the next match, see what we have here. All right, the next is the mixed tag, or the intergender tag, as we call it. Uh, it's the intergender tag, but we call it mixed because intergender doesn't fit. doesn't give me enough room to uh, type intergender out. Uh, the champs, uh, Cody and Brandy Rhodes, are going to take on the duo of Otis and Mandy. Um, so let's get this all set up. This is why I'm glad I'm able to pull this off here and I don't I don't have to have all this up on the screen while I do this because it takes a minute. And it's it's not really fun to sit and watch me scroll through names and rosters. go all right get the right ring set up the right ref Make sure my settings are right all right all right here we go just a second, we'll switch to the end game. I wish I knew the exact amount of time it was gonna to take to load so that way I could time it just right. Cody, as I said recently, uh, had some great matches with uh, Lance Archer. Um, I, I hear his match with Jungle Boy was fantastic on Wednesday night. Otis, of course, is the Money in the Bank winner in the WB right now. I'm curious as to what they're going to do with him. I don't see him successfully cashing in and winning. But crazier things have happened. I mean, Jinder Mahal was our champion a couple years ago, so... Knee drop to the back there. This is why I call it the intergender. I, it, I know it's called mixed tag titles, but like the men and the women can fight each other here. Um, no rules about you know. Oh, the man tagged out. The other the other team has to tag out as well. Um, so you end up with like Cody Rhodes slamming Mandy Rose. Double team there. Oh, Kenny's coming down. The world champ is coming down to interfere in the match. Helping his buddy Cody. Hmm. Mandy with the suplex on Cody or on uh, Kenny. with the octopus stretch on Kenny. Kenny's leaving now. We're done with Kenny. He's gone. Double submissions. Let's see. 
wrist lock uh, suplex there. Not wrist lock, waist lock suplex. Excuse me. Oh, just uh, laying people out. I just don't see Otis being world champ. Nice clothesline. now yep the women are legal brandy with the DDT nice uh, wheelbarrow move there German suplex STO they keep going for. I think Brandy's uh I don't think uh, Brandy's gonna kick out from Otis laying on her. He's a big dude. Nice German suplex, Otis. Shoulder block on Brandy. Brandy gonna go tag out. Mandy's tagging in. We got Rose versus Rhodes. Nice move, Cody. I don't even know what to call that. Flipping cutter. Up. Spine Buster. Beautiful Moonsault. Of course, Mandy's going to break it up because they're in the wrong corner. Got him in the tree of woe. Going to punch him in the knee a couple times. Those old devastating thigh punches. Otis with the world's strongest slam out there. Muscle Buster from Cody. Oh, just with the breakup of the pin. Mandy working smart, pulling Cody back to the corner. Really, really, Otis. Drop kick. Too close to the ropes, Brandy. Nice uh, tornado clothesline, Brandy. Been watching Brody.
Reverse DDT. Nice counter into a reverse DDT at that. Double power bomb. World's Strongest Slam again. Turn, ba <laughs> turn Brandy inside out. Ah, oh, Otis, you blew it. You blew it. Brandy with the counter into the pin. Still champs. All right. Roll up pin. Got an 88% by the judges. Titles don't change hands. Our next match is a fatal four-way elimination match for the light heavyweight title. Or junior heavyweight. I, th I forget what I call it. Forget the name of my own title. That's how long it's been since we've done this. So let me get this set up. Junior heavyweight title, yep. Bandito's our champ. Okay, get that set up. So many options you have to change to do this. Fatal four way elimination match Xavier Woods versus Ali versus Hiromu Takahashi versus the junior heavyweight champion Bandito. Xavier's trying to get his belt back that he never actually lost. I just saw on YouTube role play Ring of Honor. <laughs> role play of Honor. Um, Ring of Honor wrestlers playing Dungeons and Dragons. That's hilarious. Moonsault there, Ali. Nice move there, Hiromu. <clears throat> Hit 
Hit it again on Xavier. Xavier's done. The Death Valley driver on Ali. Super kick there on Xavier. Xavier's just getting the tar beat out of him. Lung blower. Another lung blower. Or backstabber, depending on what you want to call it. Step up, uh, Shining Wizard. Five four. Trading super kicks there, Bandito and Hiromu. Look at Xavier Woods stealing Hiromu's finisher. And then not following up with a pin. What, Xavier, what are you doing? Oh, Woods is the first man eliminated. He did take a beating in that match, though. He took everybody's finisher, it felt like. with the destroyer and a face crusher Benito taking a destroyer now you say do we have a new champ series of standing switches there that was pretty nice probably would have been more dramatic if it wasn't so high speed Suplex there. Ah, missed the enziguri. It's overhead belly to belly suplex. Elbow to the stri elbow strike to the back of the head. Some standing switches. Uh, poison rana. Twisting neck breaker. <laughs> Jumping enziguri. Ollie's on fire. At least until he ran into each other. Super kick. Oh, Avalanche Tornado DDT. DVD. <clears throat> oh. We're guaranteed a new champion. Bandito tapped out.
So we're gonna have Ali or Hiromu as the new champ. Ali with the counter. Standing switch, standing switch. Nice power bomb. I'm not sure what that was. Diving Centon into the back. I watch these two fight all day for real. These two would have a hell of a match in real life. Potentially. Diving knee strike. Double knee drop, rather. 054. Spanish fly. Face Crusher. Hurricanrana. Another one? Nope. Tornado DT. Complete shot. Tornado DT out of the corner. Both men are down. Up. Oh, Hurricane was up. Uh, hits the Destroyer. Is that going to be enough to put him away? Hiromu is our light heavyweight champion. Junior heavyweight champion, excuse me. Hiromu wins. Puts that belt on him. Junior heavyweight champion, Hiromu Takahashi. I think Hiromu eliminated everybody. Now that I think about it, he pinned Xavier. He tapped out Bandito and then pinned Mustafa. So Hiromu was a one man wrecking crew in that match. All right, next up. Get the next match ready to go. Women's tag match to Neil Dashwood and Chris Statlander, our new champions. They were ones that were formed out of a uh, tournament. And we're gonna get a uh, Let's get this organized here. There we are, Dakota Kai. I'm sure my settings are right. There we go. Match about to start. Women's tag titles, the new champs, 
Tennille Dashwood and Chris Statlander versus Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez. Chelsea's our ref for the match. You know, Tenille Dashwood is not an AEW wrestler. She's made some appearances there, but I was throwing teams together for a uh, an eight-team round-robin tournament to crown the new women's tag champs after we lost Bailey. And I went and I downloaded another Bailey, and then because of the way the Fire Pro system is set up. Downloaded this new Bailey, and she also didn't have a head. So, Short arm clothesline there, Tenille. Leg drop by Chris. If you watch AEW, you know uh, Chris is an alien who boops people on the nose. Elbow to the back of the head. Oh, TKO. Bust out the TKO, but uh, Chris decided to no-sell it. Powerbomb. I miss uh, Tenille, Emma. I thought she was great. They, they booked her poor, especially that whole Emmalina nonsense.
Oh, what? Dropped her on her head, but too close to her partner. Here we go. Ah, oh, not enough. Oh, man, Dakota Kai dropped the ball. Just like Otis did earlier. That's twice we've seen that. Tag team partners dropping the ball on the, uh, the breakup of the pin. Oh, uh, this next match should be golden in theory once we get there. Raquel ate the pin. All right, let's get it up here. We got our next... Our next match is our new TV champ. Again, that's a belt that, for inexplicably re inexplicable reasons, uh, was vacated. I don't know why, because Brian Cage was still here. Um, but it was vacated, and... Matt Riddle won the tournament, or the uh, Battle Royale. Ah, huh, darn. Uh won the battle royale to uh to be the new champ andrade on the other hand he won a he won the shot by virtue of his elimination in the last show at uh poly nerd mania at the beginning of april end of march whenever that was um we did a a, a battle royal where there was the convoluted admittedly for the sake of humor uh, rules of your elimination spot determined what you got. The first three people eliminated got nothing. The next two people eliminated are going to be in the tag team title match later. Uh, next, I believe. Yes, after this match. The person that got eliminated after them was Andrade. He gets a TV title match. The loser of the, the final person to be eliminated gets an intercontinental title match, and then the winner... Of course, got a world title match, um, which has already happened. Uh, we'll discuss that in the main event. Um, so after the TV title was vacated for whatever reason, uh, when the, the game freaked out on me, um, Matt Riddle won an eight-man battle royale, is the new champ. Uh, Andrade is his number one contender. Here we are. Now, Riddle versus Andrade in real life would probably be sweet as hell. I bet these two would have a hell of a match. Um, not likely to happen right now. Uh, Andrade being on Raw and Riddle recently coming up to SmackDown. Moonsault Stomp. Pele kick there from Riddle. I thought it was going to be bro to sleep, but it was a kick instead. Triangle choke. I'm going to say up to, that, up to this point, Riddle's kind of owned Andrade. Nice 
nice uh, high angle German. Running clothesline. Riddle's just taking it to him. He's gonna do the Tranquilo pose on Riddle. Running drop kick. Strikes running her Karana. Andrade is so good. I've really come around on him. Uh, I was not his biggest uh, fan in NXT, but over time I've just really come to appreciate his work. Riddle misses with the kick. Andrade misses with the knee strike or the elbow strike. We get the fireman's carry into the kick. Running clothesline. Back elbow. Tranquilo pose. Kind of like an arm drag bulldog almost. Knee strikes to the face. Fisherman Buster. Step up in Zaguri. Bro to sleep. Is that it? That was it. It just took one bro to sleep to put to put Andrade away. A single, a single bro to sleep. We're not seeing any titles change hands so far. 89% by the match evaluation judges. That was pretty entertaining. I bet they I bet they'd tear it down in real life. Okay, this is this is our odd couple pairing of um, well, you'll see in just a second. This is what I was talking about in the last match with the the uh, the people that were eliminated fourth and fifth in the uh, turn and the and the the uh, battle royal back at Poly Nerdomania uh, that are being forced to, to tag. Um, they're taking on the Gorillas of Destiny. Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa uh, is Keith Lee and Shingo Takagi. Um, two very, very talented, very, very strong, very, very tough men. But them being a team together is, is pretty humorous. You know, Shingo part of LIJ and New Japan. Keith Lee just being the badass that he is in NXT. Him versus Johnny Gargano at... Uh, in your house tomorrow night. It's going to be pretty good. I do hate that they move the uh, NXT pay-per-views to Sunday night. Drives me nuts. Ah. Oh. 3D by the uh, G.O.D. Shingo's a beast, man. Him and Will, though, him and Will Ospreay, when they were in the, uh, not the New Japan Cup, but the G1 last fall, they did not win enough matches. They just did not win enough matches. 
like they both stepped up to the heavyweight division from the junior division, the junior heavyweight division, and uh, they both should have won more matches than they did. They they booked them pretty poorly through the tournament, especially Shingo because he was like undefeated up until losing the uh, best of the super juniors, and then he goes to the G1 and then he he just he looks like a guy who shouldn't be there. Now, granted, they've rectified that a little bit. Dude's got all kinds of gold right now, but. I think he's the never open weight and a third of the trio, or the, uh, the, yeah, he's the never open weight champion and the, uh, one third of the trios champion too. Whatever that, the New Japan equivalent of that is. Six man. Keith with the running power slam. One, two, Almost one. Wow. Of course, G.O.D. just took the belts off of the Revival right before they became FTR. Nice uh, choke slam power bomb move. Warm DDT on Shingo. Too close to the corner, though. Keith was able to get that right away. Oh, Thomas thrown out of the ring through the over the top rope with the suplex. Scoop slam on Shingo. DDT on Keith. Tama Tonga tags out. Tonga Loa a lot of T's. It was a very alliterative <laughs> very alliterative sentence. Tangaloa takes the tag from Tonga Tonga. <laughs> Sorry. Humored myself. Bomb there on on, on uh, Tamatanga. How did he get stood back? He went from the tree of woe to back on his feet. That was weird. Ah, oh, 3D. I forget what they call it. Gun's done. It's over. It is predictably over. G.O.D. wins. G.O.D. remain heavyweight tag champs. We have not seen a single title change hands thus far in this uh, show.
Get the next match ready to go. We'll be ready in just a second. Here we go. Next match is ready to go. It's match number seven of ten, so we have this one and three others to go. Just past the hour mark. These shows typically run about 90 minutes long. British strong style. Pete Dunn, Tyler Bate, Trent Seven against Death Triangle, one of the worst names of a group ever. Uh, Pac. Pentagon and Phoenix. Of course, he's Neville in my world, so. with that arm bar man he, he's won so many matches with that move between that and that cradle pin he uses There's so many wrestlers we lost though in this exchange. I don't have a Moxley. I don't have Dustin Rhodes. I don't have uh... Like I said, Britt Baker. Jimmy Havoc. I lost my Brody Lee. I had to get a new one of them. Um... That is, that is the downside of the, the system that Fire Pro uses because it's cool that like when someone creates a wrestler and then they edit it and tweak it and make it better, you get those updates. But if they start doing those edits and tweaks with DLC content that you don't have, you just lose the wrestler. Like my Bailey lost her at face. Like she was it was hair, a void, and then the rest of her body. And then so I went and downloaded a new one because hey, here's a new one to download. And when I went to install her and use her, she had no head at all. So it's like, well, hell. Nice uh, spinning clothesline, answered by a super kick. I like Trent Seven a lot. Oh, wow. Powerbomb suplex. Tiger driver. Almost, almost got the victory. Tyler Bate almost pulling it out there.
See, he, he wins with that, uh, that submission a lot. Up, up, up. Ah, that's a nice German. Another one. The Destroyer. Meteora. Jackknife pin. Too close to the corner, though. You can't do that, Phoenix. You know that. There's that German again. Tyler just hitting people with it. Powerbomb. The cradle. We have new tag champs. We have new trios champs. First title change of the show. British Strong Style, now our trios champ. Fantastic. Wait, I think another title change she had earlier, didn't it? Or am I telling stories? Yeah, the, t the junior heavyweight title change chance. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I forgot about that. So, match number eight, our women's title is going to be defended in a five-way elimination match. So, let me get that together. Uh, Tony Storm is our current champion, taking it off of Tegan Knox uh, back towards the beginning of the year. Um... Let's see, who do I have slated to fight her? Okay, make sure all our speeds are right. Here we go. Get into this eighth match of the show. Tony Storm defending the PNPW women's title in a fatal five-way elimination match between herself, Chelsea Green, Hikaru Shida, Asuka, and Io Shirai. This is a different version of Io Shirai than the one that was the longest reigning women's champion we've ever had. Um, which is unfortunate because that Io Shirai was awesome. Uh, I have not used this Io yet. Uh, Io being another one that I lost in the, uh, the purge of last month. These matches are much harder to call. Kick by Sheeta on Chelsea. Yeah. Nice neck breaker by Tony on Asuka. I love Asuka. I, I would love to meet Asuka. I want to talk to Asuka. I want to have a conversation about video games and nerdy stuff with Asuka. 
video games and anime and food. I want to talk about those things with Asuka. Video games, anime, food, and wrestling. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Asuka was a video game journalist before she was a wrestler in Japan. So, And she's one of the all-time greatest. Like, her, Io, and Hikaru Shida are all so good. Nice pile driver. Oscar lock on Tony. Oh, Chelsea's out of the ring. Good thing it's not a uh, over the top rope elimination style match. Oh, Hikaru Shida with the, uh, or Asuka with the German suplex on Hikaru. Just flung her over the top rope. I'm gonna say, are Tony and Chelsea Green gonna get themselves counted out? Stretch muffler on Asuka, broken up by Io. There's that German again. Oscar Lock. Fisherman Suplex. STF. Trial Choke. Strong zero. Chelsea's thrown out of the ring. Nice. Breaker. Chelsea Green's just getting pummeled. Stopped on. STF. Io Shirai with the tombstone on Tony Storm. I want to see Io Shirai and Tony Storm wrestle again. They were fantastic in the Mae Young Classic uh, a couple years ago. Moonsault Stomp. Super kick by Chelsea Green on Tony. I say we almost had ourselves a guaranteed new champ. Oh, she hit the I'm prettier. Tombstone, face buster. Tony pinned the wrong woman. Kick, leg drop, stomp, back elbow. Chelsea Green with a scoop slam and the enziguri. Asuka's got Tony in the Asuka lock. Chelsea Green eats a face buster. Neck breaker on Chelsea Green. She's just getting pummeled this match. These women are tearing Chelsea Green up. Triangle on, oh man, that's close. Arm drag on EO. 
Fisherman suplex. Asuka up, oh, breaks up. Falcon's arrow on Asuka. Asuka's eliminated. She's the first woman out of the match. Wow. Hikaru Shida takes Asuka out. Io Shirai going for the 619. Tony Storm eliminates Chelsea Green. We're down to. We're down to Tony Storm. Shida and Shirai. Of course, uh, when Io Shirai does the 619, it's the Tiger Faint kit kick. Um, double team power bomb. Nice German, just flung Tony out of the out of the way. Tony with the splash, too close to the ropes. Power driver on Cheetah. Double drop kick. Lung blower. Face buster. Double underhook face buster. German suplexed over the ring, over the post. Man, that was, that was that would have been dangerous in real life. Moonsault stomp, so beautiful in real life when she does it. Io Shirai has a picture perfect moonsault in real life. It is something to behold. Almost with the pen. Ah, oh, Eo gets flung out of the ring. Ref's busy counting, can't uh can't do the pen. Snap suplex. Throw her into the corner. Shoulder thrust, leg drop, neck breaker, hip toss. Shida and Storm double team Shirai out of the ring. It comes out of Hikaru Shida, the AEW Women's Champion in real life, versus our Women's Champion Tony Storm. Diving splash, side slam. She gonna dive on her again? Yep. Oh, that would hurt your butt. That'd hurt your tailbone so bad. Your butt and your spine would be so hurting. Oh, wow. Whoa, Tony Storm with the count out victory. Sheeta's getting a rematch. Mark my word, Sheeta versus Storm. Next show. No count outs. That's crazy. It counts as a defense though. Totally counts as a defense. It didn't do the transition, did it? It just like popped straight to me, didn't it?
All right, here we go. Match number nine of the show, Kazuchika Okada. Kazuchika Okada. I can't talk. Okada, the Intercontinental Champion, defending against Cedric Alexander, the last man eliminated in the number one contenders battle royale back at Polynerdomania. Um, Cedric Alexander having the match of his career here against Okada. Okada has been the most dominant Intercontinental Champion we've ever had in the real world. He's one of the most dominant wrestlers in the world. He's one of the best in the world. Maybe the greatest wrestler right now on the planet. Um, you know, or he was prior to the pandemic when New Japan shut down. Um, I look forward to the return of New Japan when wrestling returns to Japan. Going for the STF already. Alexander taking it to Okada, though. I don't think Okada has ever been our world champ. That kick that uh, that Riddle likes to hit. Breaker. Oh, nice flapjack. That's a thing of beauty. Neck breaker over the knee. That has to hurt. I don't know how you take that comfortably. Falcon arrow. Kind of like a snap falcon arrow at that. High angle back suplex. Drop kick to the back of the head. Everybody's missing blows at this point. Okada with his suplex DVD complete shot there German suplex into the Rainmaker is that gonna be it one Rainmaker gonna be enough no Alexander kicked out of the Rainmaker Brain Buster. Take him down. Overhead belly to belly. Okada reverses the suplex into one of his own. There's that snap falcon arrow. Is 
tombstone, jumping tombstone pile driver, jumping turning tombstone at that. Alexander with the running knee, kick to the kidneys, that hurt. A little slap to the throat, look like. Rainmaker, is that gonna be it? Oh, that might be it. That's the second Rainmaker. Yeah. You might get out of one. You're not getting out of two unless your name's Kenny Omega. Okada, oh, the victory, continues to be the most dominant Intercontinental Champion we've ever had. Just ripped up Alexander. Alexander with a hell of a showing. All right, now comes the, the drama of the main event pitcher. Uh, as I mentioned, there was a number one contender battle royale at the last show back in April. Um, and at that show, Kenny Omega won the number one contendership. Later on, Kofi Kingston defended his title against Michael Elgin. Immediately after that match, we did Kenny Omega versus Kofi Kingston. Kenny Omega won. Kenny Omega is our two-time Polly Nerdic, pro wrestling world champion. Um, and then, of course, we would go on to lose Kofi Kingston to the purge of May 2020. Um, hopefully we'll recover him, find a different version of Kofi to, to return. But it, it worked out to our advantage that, uh, that Kofi ended up losing the title to Kenny Omega and then within a week or two later was no longer part of the roster. So we did a eight-man tournament in April to crown a new number one contender for Kenny Omega, and that's where we are right now. We are at that match. The winner of that tournament facing Kenny Omega, and we're going to get to that match right now. Kenny Omega defending his Polynerdic Pro Wrestling world title against one of his best friends, maybe even a lover, because they were, you know, heavily implicated when they were the Golden Lovers, that they were, you know, that implies what it implies. Kota Ibushi. Ibushi. Um, I'm having a hard time with Japanese names tonight. I don't know why. Uh, Kota Ibushi. Former friend, former tag team partner. Facing off against Kenny Omega, the world champ. These two know each other so well. Knee drop. Kuro Ibushi, one of the best wrestlers in the world himself. Crazy ass man, too. Knee strike. I think they used to call it the kitchen sink. Trading blows, elbows and kicks. Both men down. Kenny's back up though. Kick to the back. Spike her Karana. That's not gonna be enough, Coda. You know better. Standing drop kick. Chops. Nice moonsault there, Kenny. Scoop slam. Knee drop. Air conditioner kicking back on. Hurricane Rana. Running stomp. Elbow to the back. That's not going to be enough, Kenny. What are you doing? Keep waiting for Kenny to be the guy in AEW. It's funny to me that he hasn't become the guy yet. Springboard drop kick. Knee strike. Sliding under Coda. Out of the ring. Coda gonna fly or no? Running clothesline, running stomp. Kicks. Coda kicks hard. 
Knee strike. Oh, Coda with the counter. Kenny went for the poison Rana and got countered to electric chair drop. Kuro Ibushi and Will Ospreay's feud from a couple years ago. Brilliant stuff. Oh, almost with the victory on the suplex. Face Crusher. Spike Rana. Kamagoye. Out of nowhere. That was a quick Kamagoye. He didn't, there was no fanfare on it. It was just straight knee to the face. Knees to the back. Drop toe hold. The jumping crusher again of the uh, Kenny's. Super kick. Kick to the face. Colliding. E strike. Snap Snapdragon Suplex, one of my favorite suplexes in the whole world. Straight right. Oh, I was gonna go for the Kamagoye. Go for the elevated last ride. New champ. Wow. Kota Ibushi unseats Kenny Omega, the man who stole the title from Co uh, Kofi Kingston at the last show. Holy crap, we have a new champ. Kota Ibushi is our world champ. Didn't even really finish him with the knee to the face either. He fin finished him with the final bomb. The last ride into a sit-out powerbomb. Great finish. Great show. Not our best show. I will freely admit that. We've done better shows. We've had better matches. We've had better outcomes. But we have a new world champ. Kota Ibushi. Unseated Kenny Omega. We'll be back in a month. Sometime in July. Probably around the 4th of July. Uh, with another episode of Polynerdic Pro Wrestling. We do this once a month. Um, I like the new setup. I like having my face on the screen the whole time. I like... You know the the better microphone, the better setup in general. Had a, a great great time streaming this tonight. Uh, we're gonna post it to Facebook, not to Facebook. We're gonna post it to YouTube tomorrow morning. So Sunday morning, this will go live. Uh, by the time this is going live, we'll also be streaming Animal Crossing again because we stream Animal Crossing at 9 a.m. every weekend morning, um, and then we will. Uh, get on with the rest of the streaming. I'm done streaming for the day. This is my final show of the of the uh of the day. You know, we did Animal Crossing. We did a lot of Persona 5 and now we've done this. I'm going to take a rest for the rest of the night. So, I'll see you tomorrow morning with Animal Crossing um and then whatever else the day brings us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.